Hi guys, my crew here. This is the Quest for Survival Hardcore Iron Man series and we're on episode 47 now. This is the bottom week and we're on day 4. This day is again really really annoying for me and the hunt for the chain skirt continues and I spend so much time at Cree and Twin Furies. It just feels so demotivating where I just can't progress through this part. I guess that's all part of the Iron Man life, but it's just annoying that it's happening during this bossing week because I just want to show you guys content and I don't want it to be really repetitive, but it may end up being quite repetitive because this RNG that Jagex has given me on trying to get some legs for range is very, very bad. Anyway, let's get into this video. Looking back to some of the original episodes of this series quite a long time ago, I done a straw poll of how Iron Rue would die. The thing with the most votes that had 227 was AFK and Too Hard, followed by a Disconnect, followed by a Raxor. To be honest, I feel the exact same way. One of these three things is probably what I'm going to die to. I don't really see myself dying to much else unless I progress through and go next or something like that. Other stuff like being PK'd in the Wilderness and Slayer, I don't really ever go into the Wilderness and I never AFK Slayer tasks, so I don't really see any of those happening either. So I've got a new straw poll in the description, whether you guys have changed your mind or you still feel the same way and I'm going to die to AFK and too hard. Personally, I think if I'm going to die anywhere, it's probably going to be to a Raxor. So if you did want to get involved and get voting, check that straw poll in the description and I'll show it off in the next episode. Anyway, enough talking, let's get into the loot and things that I got from Kriara and stuff today. Now that I've got everything except for the chain skirt, the effigies are actually really, really nice to see. That's just some free experience and it's better than a duplicate, I'll take it. Hey, another effigy alongside loads of super potions. To be honest, I really like the super potion drops too, because I can use them. I use them for all the extremes into overloads and it really, really helps. I send them to the bank with the pack gag or I just chuck them in the pack gag if needs be. Very, very nice. Okay, so I managed to get 20 mil constitution and more armadillo boots in the same drop. Please give me the chain skirt. Come on, Jagex. I guess I got duplicate boots now too. Why not? Oh, <laughs> I might actually be able to get the title, like actually get the Kriara title. I just got the pet at, let me check my KC. 918, so I didn't even hit a threshold. <laughs> One in 5,000 chance. That's pretty cool. I've only got one boss pet. It's on its own. Now I'll override my familiars with him. He looks so good though. He... Come here, Kriara. We're going to go kill Kriara. I did an hour of Twin Furies with my friend. We used his instance as he has 100% reputation, which then boosts the drop rate for both of us. He only had a Sun Spear though, so the kill times were pretty slow. But even with the slow kill times, it was very, very enjoyable and very smooth and easy. I think I'm going to solo these sometime too because they're actually very, very easy to do as long as you're paying attention. Twin Furious is just a boss where you can't really look away from the screen because you'll get hit by them charging or you'll get stuck in the rain or something. So I do something very, very AFK on my main and my 10 HP pure, which is the arc. Who would have guessed that I'm at the arc on my main and my 10 HP pure while doing this? After going with my Sun Spear friend, I went with another Iron Man buddy and he has a Scythe. So the kills were super fast with this one. My Dragon Rider Lance and his Scythe made for very, very quick kills. We were probably getting them down within like 30 to 40 seconds. We got a hell of a lot of kills in the hour, but neither of us got any specific unique drop. So sadly, no unique drops here, but either way, Twin Furies are pretty enjoyable and I'll probably keep doing these until I get a crest alongside Kriara. So now it just all depends whether I get a crest or a chain skirt first and then I'll just make those legs and go to racks. Hey, an effigy pretty early on, that's really nice. I also managed to get virtual level 100 range, so now my range level is going past 99 just because of how dry I've gone at Kriara. I started at level 92. More armadil boots. More armadil boots. Give me the chain skirt, please. <laughs> this is that point where it's like, Oh, why are you getting salty about getting drops? It's like, I only need one and it's the boots. So it's like, uh, I don't want to complain about getting drops, but I want to complain about getting drops when they're not the chain skirt and they're boots. Oh, I got a loot beam. I thought it might have been saying good. And it's another mimic kill token. <laughs> At least if it's an effigy, it's worth something. Hey, another effigy and some more potions. Good drop, good drop. I got 101 range and managed to get another armadillo buckler. I just want this chain skirt so badly, like, 
Oh, I've done so much here. I've got like nearly 1,150 kills or something stupid. Done like 30 hours. I just, please give me a chain skirt. I just need to go to racks. I need to get some progress. Okay, now we've got our second pair of gloves. At least we're getting a couple of drops. Just give me the chain skirt, please, game. Come on. Jagex, I know you want to give me the chain skirt. I know you want to find it in your heart. And give me that chain skirt. I did an hour of Twin Fury solo. My friend hosted the instance for me, so technically I should get his 100%. This would give me a higher chance of getting a crest or any other unique drop. Solo in Twin Furies is actually really, really easy with a Dragon Rider Lance and the setup that I showed in the end of the first video of my melee. I have my Animacora Zaros top, and then I have my full bandos and my Dragon Rider Lance. Twin Furies are pretty chill. Like I said, as long as I don't look away and do something stupid, I shouldn't die here at all. Although one thing I don't do is use Zerk. If I use Zerk, I can take a hell of a lot of damage very quickly and it's a bit scary for my hardcore, so I just don't do that. The kill times are like 1 minute 20 seconds or so, so it's actually not too bad anyway and it's still pretty fast. No! That's not a crest. That's Dorman Animacore legs. Uh, when I told Jagex I was looking for legs for ranging, this is not what I meant. The hour went pretty smooth as a whole. I got the Dormant Animal Core legs, but then I did get some useful supplies. I managed to get 631 magic logs, which helped with some fire making gains. And if I ever need to make any arrow shafts and stuff like that for fletching eventually, if I ever want to go past 99, that's very, very helpful. Then there's just other supplies like some Alka balls and some stuff for smithing and all of that. I really, really like God Wars Dungeon 2 just because it gives a ton of supplies. So now we're at 15 out of 18 and we have 1238 kill count. We need two pieces of War Priest and the Armadillo Chain Skirt. It's so crazy that we got the pet at such a low KC, but it's really, really frustrating that I can't get the Chain Skirt, I can't get a Crest of Zamorak, I can't get anything to get these legs. I don't want to go to a Raxor early with only two perks, I'd much rather get Augmentable Legs so then I could get four perks and then have a well better chance at surviving. The only problem is I've done 30 hours of Kriara and 6 to 7 hours of Twin Furies with no luck at all when it comes to a Crest or Chain Skirt. I've set my mind to this goal so I can't stop until I achieve this which means it can be a bit repetitive and I'm sorry for that. I guess that's just the way Iron Man works. I hope you did enjoy the video either way, give it a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you're new for loads of future content all related to RuneScape 3 and until tomorrow, see ya.